Welcome to our lecture online. In this example again, we have a figure for which we need to find the angles indicated in terms of x and y. We're told that this angle here is 90 degree angle and we're told that these two opposite lines here are parallel to one another. But the trick again is to extend some of these lines to get the feeling that these are indeed examples of parallel lines and transversals for which we know the rules. So let's go ahead and extend these two lines in this direction as well as in this direction. And then we're going to extend this line here and here and the same with this line here and here. And now it becomes much easier to see that these are two parallel lines crossed by two transversals so we can use the rules that we're familiar with. Starting down here, notice that these two lines are parallel, this is transversal, this angle here is 90 degrees, and this angle 2 times x, well, this angle and this angle are what we call consecutive interior angles, and by definition, they must add up to 180 degrees, they're supplementary, but if one of the angles is 90 degrees, that necessitates that the other angle must be 90 degrees as well, because 90 plus 90 is 180 degrees. By that, we can then conclude that 2x degrees equals 90 degrees. Divide both sides by 2, we get x degrees equals 45 degrees. Next, we look at these two angles right here. And notice that if these are two parallel lines, and this is transversal, that these are consecutive interior angles. Hmm. What do we know? Well, they are consecutive interior angles, so that means that their measures must add up to 180 degrees, which means that 3y degrees plus 6y degrees must equal to 180 degrees. Consecutive interior angles do indeed add up to 180 degrees which means that 9 times y degrees equals 180 degrees. Divide both sides by 9. That means that y degrees is equal to 20 degrees. And so you can see then that this angle here, 20 times 3 is 60 degrees, and this is 6 times 20 or 120 degrees. And sure enough, when you add them up, they do add up to 180 degrees. A quick check to make sure we did it correctly, but at least this way we found the value for x and the value for y, again using the postulates and theorems associated with parallel lines and transversals. And that is how it's done.